Hi, welcome to Quirky Queen's Journals. My name is Kirsten. So I have been making masterboards, massive masterboards. So these are roughly, well, this is A2. These are bigger than A2. Now, what I thought was, let's make masterboards that we can actually use. So I put them on thin paper. So the first paper is over lay paper which is drawing paper sketching paper 50 gsm and what i've done is i've put my tissue paper jelly prints on this so you can see here it's very flexible very thin you could put um napkins on the back but i actually think that the because this paper's fairly transparent you've actually got some nice colors coming through I'm showing you these quickly while they're big and then I'm going to cut them up um, into more manageable sizes. But these aren't for tags or anything like that. These, these are actual pages that can be put into the junk journal or cut up and put onto a page um, as an embellishment. Now this one, my idea is to stamp this. So I have a pep and press book I'll go and get it. This cost me less than £3 on eBay with postage. So, I mean, they must have... I don't know what... I don't know what they paid for postage, but they must... It must have cost pennies. They must have made a profit of pennies. Um, so, it's very thick. But it, it's all... This stuff. So, I've took the book apart well some of it and what my idea was I thought you know we could be stamping and putting words and stuff on this so that we we then can cut it up for little embellishments this is on tissue paper so both sides are usable this one is my pep and press pattern books you could do this with scrap papers, it's scrapbook papers, whatever. I just went, what I did was I chose the same weight of paper. So I kept to the same types of paper to make these. Now this one probably is a bit, this is more solid, even though it's on tissue paper. So you could use this for tags or whatever, cards, etc. On the back... It's pretty interesting on the back as well, still, so. The back of these, some of these patterns, this is actually a decorative pages book from Pep and Press. And what it is, is it's like end papers that you would find in, like, fancy books and stuff like that. Now, oh, sorry. I've been doing a big picture of my dog, but I've been doing it in a... Oh, dropped it on the floor. But I was doing it in a Fauvist style, so that was my sketching. But I'll show you it quickly. I don't know, because it'll fit in here. Roughly. Kind of. I did put it on my community post, but I don't know how many people get to see that. But there you go. That's my dog. <laughs> and for the Fauvist style, it is to do with the brightness of the colours and the line work and about creating emotion with the colours. So she looks like she's sleeping at first glance, but she's not. She's watching for me dropping crumbs. So again, this is on tissue paper. This is book pages. And again on the back, lovely. But it's it's thin enough to use as a book page, as a signature page. Now this one is see when I was doing all my plants on the jelly plate. There's videos of it under the jelly plate jamming with my jelly plate playlist. Um, these are a lot of the. You know the prints that I took because I took 
I keep saying I took 50, I think I took nearer 100. But um, I also used a limited palette with it. So I really like this one because it's, it's themed. Similar colours and also it's the same object that are creating the shapes on here. So I really like that one. And then I'm going to show, this one's not so good in the back obviously, but it's still good. I mean, something that would frame something nice. Um, and this is my messy desk that the paint doesn't really come off anymore. Anyway, I am going to cut these up and I'll come back. Okay, so I have put the tissue paper over like so. Just stuck it a wee bit better in places. There we go. Where it's more white is where I've not put the matte medium down because I've um I've rushed it a bit. But that's okay, we'll rectify that. So that's them. I'll show you them all. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going round the edges of these ones and putting some matte medium down as a, you know, just so they're all stuck and you don't, it'll stop, you know, when you feel the edges, like if you catch it on something, it will stop that. And I'm using matte medium so that it's not shiny but it doesn't if you're not bothered about it being shiny or not then just you use whatever okay so i'm going to do the rest of them and i'll come back okay they're still um they're still a tad wet Thought that what I could do was just maybe add some bits and pieces. I think that's a lovely page to put in a junk journal signature and although there's a lot going on it is still plain enough to add to okay this one does need trimmed Oh, I really don't want to trim it. I need to... So what I thought was... Where are we? I have written some words backwards on the jelly plate. The gold, maybe not going to work as well. I'm 
I'm going to use the glue stick, although it would be better to use that medium, but it's it's for the being dry purposes. And I also think this fits in well with the aesthetic of the kind of well it's quite wild looking, isn't it? And so this the writing style that I've used fits in with that. I love it. Right, I did good at the writing backwards until it came to numbers. Useless. I take out the pot and just keep the plant. Let's look at it as one page. There we go. And obviously you can adapt that to other things. A wee bit of matte medium over the top of that and it'll be perfect. So I broke this in a slightly, with a thicker Posca pen because this was running out and it was drying too fast. I'm going to use Martin Dean for that. Oh, oh that was a disaster move. So generally I like to use the glue stick and then I come in with the matte medium afterwards because what's going to happen now is I'm not going to, this, this becomes so fragile it's difficult to move. There you go. <laughs> I love this. Right, I'll need to let that dry before I go on to do this side. But to be honest with you, I'm tempted to just ink the edges on this because I think that in itself is a good signature page. I love this. Do you know what? You could actually make that and you could cut that in two and make it into two pictures. That's how good that is. That was luck more than anything else that came together. Right, so this guy here is one that I'm thinking not so much for a signature, but it's... So basically to make labels out of or tickets or whatever, just little embellishments to put on the pages. So my thought was when I find them. I have stamps. They could be anywhere. Where are you? They're right next to me. Right, 
This is an Art Deco stamp by PM Artist Studio. It's called Art Deco Circles. And it's one of the imperfectly perfect ones that Mariah gave to me. Makes beautiful stamps. So, um, yes. There we go. I can't see what's imperfect about it, but there must be some flaw. Let's see what happens actually if I don't restamp it. I need to look at each of these separately. Have an acrylic block but nothing sticking to it just now i think it needs washed to be honest with you There we go and what I'm going to do is take one of these and I'm going to cut out a tag right I think we'll call that just now there's obviously a lot more stuff that can be done with these But I just like the thought of making actual signatures using the, this is my favourite, using master boards. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed and thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye.